This is Ross of Woodfire Power, and in this video I'm going to talk about a temperature monitoring system that we're working on constructing. What we're doing is monitoring the temperatures in the greenhouse in multiple locations. Right now we have it set up with six transducers. I'll go into the greenhouse in a minute and show you where they are. Um, this is the high elevation point. This orange one is the cooler outside. The red one is the low plants. That'll be in the back of the greenhouse. This blue one is the germination chamber. The green one here is the cooler inside. And this least variable one is the water temperature. So let me go inside. Hopefully I can remember those names. Um, and I'll show you where they are. So here's the swamp cooler and right let's see where'd we go? Oh yeah, here we go. Here is the cooler outside temperature. It's out here um, and this is the air coming into the swamp cooler. And then right there is the probe for the cool air coming in from the swamp cooler so that you can measure the change in temperature. Right here is the probe measuring the water temperature. And under here is the germination chamber, so here's the probe, and um, when it's closed up there's a sheet of insulation set in there, and you'll see that when that insulation is pulled out, the temperature of that germination chamber shoots up, so I'll show you that on the screen. Up there in the shade is the high elevation temperature. Now that's the temperature up above the plants in the elevated nutrient film technology. So I was curious what the temperature was getting up to up there to know whether it's getting too hot for the plants. And then here is the probe and I try to keep that hidden down behind a plant so that the sun's not hitting it and when I'm watering the plants or using water to spray aphids off, that probe can get wet and cool down, and we'll see that in the temperature record. So the cool air, if you notice the flags are blowing this way, the cool air from the swamp cooler blows to the end of the greenhouse, hits the film, and then it comes sideways. So when you're down here, you can feel cool air kind of hitting you in the face. Uh, and so that's a cooler spot of the greenhouse. And while we're going, you can see I've got the pipes back up on the overhead nutrient film technology system, or the drip line, quarter inch drip line. I'm about ready to start loading that with plants. Okay, so this video, however, is about the program. So let me show you some features on the program. So here we are and I guess I can move the cursor around. So down below it's got um, the dates and from that line dark black to this dark black is 12 hours and then another 12 hours so you can see the up down trace of the curve is basically a 24 hour period and this line here if I put the cursor over it you see there's a great big dip in it that says low plants point and so that big dip is from when I was watering the plants up here this curve is the cooler outside so this is the outside air temperature coming into the cooler 
this green line down here is the cooler inside and so that temperature difference from the orange line to the green line is the temperature drop going through the swamp cooler and you can see that in the hot afternoon there's a very large temperature drop but at nighttime I'm running it 24 7 at nighttime there's a very small temperature drop so basically it's just moving fresh air through the greenhouse at nighttime whereas in the daytime it's actually cooling the air this trace here is the water trace and you can see that it only comes down to about um, 67 degrees and then peak of the day up to about 72 degrees so that's going up and down about 5 degrees over the course of a day now the we can look over there at that and the blue trace is the germination chamber so if I come down here this is the germination chamber underneath the deep water table and if I move down here the minimum temperature is about 61 degrees on that day and about 62 degrees on that day it's about seven o'clock in the morning when it hits the minimum and then the sun peaks over the hill and the temperature uh, well actually I guess the sun peaks over the hill here and all of the temperatures in the greenhouse start shooting up the temperature inside the germination chamber is no different however it only goes up to about 77 whereas the uh, low plants temperature at the back of the greenhouse gets up to as high as 96 for a little while. This dip here is from watering the plants and no doubt there are some drops of water on the probe that are slowly evaporating off and then once they evaporate off the probe assumes the actual air temperature again. From a germination standpoint, I should make one more little note. This is 77 as a high and down to, what I say, 61 as a low. And the ideal temperature for germination is at about 68, which is right about in here. And so the germination chamber temperature is going above and below the perfect temperature by a little bit and that's um, pretty much ideal and getting really good germination as a result. So that's the system. Now let me show you the little prototype unit we're working on to uh, make this all happen. I showed you the probes, but the probes all connect here into a little um, box, a little circuit board, and um, the transducers are sending digital signals from the temperature probes back to the circuit board, and then the circuit board records the information on a little removable chip that you can stick into the computer in order to plot the lines. So that's an update on another experiment going on inside the greenhouse to monitor temperatures in various places and check how the plants grow as a result of the temperature changes. This is Ross of Wood Fire Power. Have a great week.